Terra Master is a company that makes DAS and NAS storage systems, and they have recently released their DA Hybrid RAID enclosure. And this is a direct attached storage that has four drive bays and four NVMe slots. The system can hold a combined storage of 128 terabytes, and that is an absurd amount of storage. So this is currently on Kickstarter and it retails for $300, but you can lock in your price for $200 right now, and it's scheduled to launch on May 7th. Now taking a quick look at what comes inside the box, this comes in a very simple packaging and inside you will find an accessory box that contains a power supply cable and some paperwork. There's also a 1 meter long USB 3.2 Gen 2 cable and depending on where you will be placing the DAS, you might need to pick up a longer cable. So this DAS unit is quite big, it measures in at 8.75 inches in length, 7 inches wide and 4.75 inches tall. This has an outer shell that is made primarily of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. The only part that feels a little cheap is the power button, and mine is all slanted, which doesn't help its case. The USB 3.2 Gen 2 port is also located back here, and this has a bandwidth of up to 10 gigabytes per second. The back area features a single fan that keeps your hard drive or SSD cool, but since the NVMe slots are not in the right line of airflow, they won't be necessarily cooled by the fan. You can always get an NVMe that has a built-in heatsink or buy a separate heatsink for it for better cooling performance, but you won't really need it, and more on that in a little bit. There's enough clearance for the Samsung 990 Pro that has a built-in heatsink to fit in here. So to access the NVMe slots, you will need to unscrew two screws which are pretty simple to get undone, but it could have been simpler to remove the cover if they use some type of push to unlock system. But it's no biggie, because after you install the NVMe's, you probably won't be accessing this often. Now accessing the front base is much simpler. You simply push the top here and then pull it out. This tray will hold a 3.5 inch hard drive or 2.5 inch SSD. The hard drive locks in with a push and tab that are located on the sides. And in order to mount an SSD, you will need to provide your own screws to hold it down and it will require four screws. There are small drive numbers right below each slot, but they don't have a light. The lights are located on the right side and they are numbered. The numbers are hard to see because everything is black. Now TerraMaster did provide some labels that you can put on each base so you can quickly know which drive is what. The TerraMaster DA Hybrid DAS unit features an onboard RAID switch to enable Hard Drive 1 and Hard Drive 2 to be set to JBOD, RAID 0, RAID 1 or as a single drive. And the last two drives will be handled as individual drives. As for the NVMe slots, those will all be handled as single drives as well. And there is some free software that you can download to back up your data and it's called TPC Backupper. The link will be in the description in case you need it. The software interface has a simple and easy to use design. You can use the software to back up your data, sync, restore, and even clone your drive onto a new one. So I only have two spare hard drives that I plan on using and I will be using them in RAID 0 to double my read and write speeds. And I will be filling up the bays in the future as my video projects grow. So RAID 0 divides data into smaller segments and distributes them across both drives resulting in faster read and write speeds but without any data backup. RAID 1 divides the storage space of each drive in half and creates a backup of the data store in case of disk failure, so you end up getting half the storage space. If you plan on filling this up with NVMe's, you don't need to pick up high performance NVMe's because the bandwidth is limited to 10GB per second. Gen 3 NVMe's should be sufficient since you won't be able to utilize its full performance speed if you go for Gen 4 or Gen 5. So I only had these 3 spare NVMe's SSDs at my disposal so that's what I'm using right now. With the NVMe's you will get an average of 980 megabytes read speeds across all different type of NVMe's so it's not worth buying the high end NVMe's. For me 980 megabytes per second is plenty fast for accessing video files back and forth while editing. This is where I will be dumping video projects that I have recently completed and that I won't really access quite often. With the hard drive I'm using two 8TB Barracuda 5400 RPM drives and I'm getting read speeds of about 400 megabytes per second and this is where I will be archiving videos that I won't really access as often, maybe once every three months or so. In terms of power consumption, the website does mention this being a 72 watt unit, but it can spike every now and then to 100 watts with all four NVMe slots used up and with four hard drives in there. So this system is for those of you who need a mix of fast read and write speeds while having large storage space to archive your data. And you can also hook this up to a DAS to expand your data storage. So I have only been using this DAS for the past week and it's been performing good. The system does go to sleep when you put your laptop or PC to sleep and the fan noise is very low. It has a noise level of about 21 decibels so it won't be distracting. The TerraMaster DA Hybrid offers one of the best solutions for those of you who need a large local storage that isn't overly expensive while also being able to use NVMe's for fast read and write speeds for accessing your files quickly. I feel like the whole system could have been a little smaller and I would love to see a Thunderbolt version of this with a 40GB bandwidth. 
that would be awesome. Alright, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech related content and I will talk to you on the next one.